Hey, and welcome back to The Revolution and a plethora of WWE 2K19 news. It's earlier today, 2K dropped an epic 2K19 trailer featuring a whole host of women's content. Because there really is so much footage, I'm only going to go over the most important details in the video, but feel free to point out anything I may have missed. If you haven't checked out the official 2K19 trailer, I highly suggest you jump on it now before you ruin any surprises by watching this video. Not to mention, it has an awesome catchy tune by Imagine Dragons to boot. We start things off with a brief look at Ronda Rousey's entrance in this year's game, and I have to say the more I look at Ronda's model, the more I fall in love with it. Sure, the attire itself is pretty generic, but nonetheless, it looks so good in the 2K engine. Up next, we switch focus to the Boss and Hood connection, with Sasha Banks finally getting that entrance update after several years. Both Sasha and Bailey and Myers look fantastic, and I have to say I especially love Bailey's jacket in this year's game, and I can't wait to see how it looks up close. Up next, we have another look at Selena Vega's model in this year's game, as she accompanies Andrade seeing Almas to the ring in what looks to be a brand new mixed tag team entrance. Of course, the entrance could be exclusive to both Vega and Elmas, like Miz and Maurice's entrance last year, but hopefully with a slight glitch, fans too can use the entrance. Like everyone else so far, Vega looks absolutely stunning with her model, and it's just a shame that fans who don't have a PC won't be able to mod her in. Up next are Billy Kane, Peyton Rice of the Iconics, who now have a tag team entrance all of their own after the outcry of fans last year. Like Lana, Peyton also seems to be spotting her short haired look, with Billy Kay and Peyton Royce matching with their black and silver attires. As the saying goes, the pair certainly look iconic, and I just can't wait to see what the full tag team entrance looks like. Up next, we have a stunning glimpse of Kyrie Sane as she hits Shayna Baszler with a picture perfect insane elbow drop in a recreation of their match from the May Young Classic tournament. The clip confirms the addition of the May Young Classic Arena in this year's game, with fans now being able to recreate their favourite matches from both May Young Classic tournaments. The clip also gives a very first official look at Kyrie's in-ring attire without her coat, and I have to say, it's a pretty damn good representation. Up next is a brief clip of Daniel Bryan and Triple H from their match at WrestleMania 13, as seen over the last few weeks. However, this time Stephanie's manager model is switched out for Stephanie's WrestleMania 34 attire, seemingly confirming the update for this year's game. As a huge Stephanie McMahon fan, I honestly can't wait to check out Stephanie's attire in full and hopefully she has a brand new entrance animation to match. We also got a very quick glimpse of what looks to be a customizable Money in the Bank briefcase in this year's game, with fans now being able to switch up the design and create their very own unique briefcase to cash in with. Hopefully, like the championship designs, we can assign a specific design to the female superstars to sit alongside the official white women's Money in the Bank briefcase. Speaking of customizable options, it looks as though 2 have really tried to add some more fun back into this year's game with an all gold AJ Styles, big head mod, and the Hardy Complex now being implemented into this year's game. The Hardy Compound especially has me super duper hyped to see what people come up with and what sort of matches to pull off in that environment. While the big head mod is rather awesome and completely out there, I can't help but feel that it's aimed towards younger fans of the game and I don't think it's something that I'll personally use unless it's to create video content. Regardless, it's great to see 2K adding new things and testing new things out to try and make the game more fun as opposed to the realistic edition it's come to be known as. Moving on, we get a brief look at what looks to be the official confirmation of the Women's Royal Rumble in this year's game as Charlotte sends Dana Brooke over the top rope whilst the fellow female superstars battle it out in the background. Now it could be argued this could be nothing more than a women's battle royal clip, but me personally, I honestly don't think that 2K would be stupid enough to tease something like this given the backlash that they would likely receive. I honestly hope this notion is true because the Royal Rumble matches have always been a huge personal favourite of mine and the fact that we can possibly play as women now has me be on tight. Speaking of updated matches, it looks as though cage matches have received yet another upgrade with fans now being able to brawl on top of the cage as seen with both Becky Lynch and Alexa Bliss. Back in the days, I always used to love playing cage matches with the friends, but over the last few years, cage matches have felt a little too easy and a little too quick, so I just can't wait to see how 2K have improved things for this year's game. 
finally get another glimpse of the Riot Squad after the earlier rating screenshot which officially confirms the trio entrance for Liv Morgan, Ruby Riot and Sarah Logan. It's not much to go off but god almighty does it look good. I know several of you have been disheartened over the last few days with the lack of footage and news from 2K but I honestly hope today's trailer has you just as much hyped as it does me. Of course I didn't go over every attire or model update in the video as someone as clear as I would have liked. So that's our brief look at today's gameplay footage and by god was it worth the wait. Let us know in the comments below what has you most excited about the women's content in today's video as well as who you think looks the best. Don't forget to stay tuned to The Revolution for all the latest women's roster news, footage and so much more.